Hello everyone, welcome to another GDevelop part tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you the basics of Pisco. Since this is my first tutorial on Pisco, I decided to show you the basics and I will also create a character and use it in a game. So let's open Pisco. Um, so this is also Pisco, but it's not the in-built Pisco we have in GDevelop 5. So if you don't want to open GDevelop and open Pisco, I would recommend you download this. Um, the link is in the description below. Well, in this tutorial, we will be using the inbuilt Pisco we have in GDevelop 5. So, player, edit object, um, sorry, but it's a Pisco, like in mind. So, this is the first time of the pop star when you open Pixel, our, um, yeah, Pixel. So, this is our ankle and here's our width, here's the default size. Um, so, resize, the size is from 32 by 32 pixels. So if you want to add in the grid, you can do preferences um here. There's a grid, enable grid, disable grid, you can increase the size, change the color, depending on what you want. Okay, increase the grid thickness. There you go, but I think I want this. So close that and let's create a character. So um put in a rectangle to um okay. Something like this, um Okay. So here, this will be the body of our character. Uh, let's say that here. Let's fill in the arms of our character. Um, something like this. The same on the other side. Okay. Let's fill in the legs. Um, oh sorry. Yeah. Here we go, and do the same on the other side. Oh. Here we go, so let's see in um, the eyes. So let's see that around here. Let's do the same on the other side. Uh, no. Okay, so it like this. So, um, let's fill in the color for our eyes, white and white. Um, let's also fill in the color for the body of our player. Okay. And let's paste that here and on the arms too. And let's put in on the trousers, so let's take something brown on dark. So here we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here we go. And let's put in something um bright. The rest part, here we go, and here, use the color picker to pick a color, and let's put that here. So, um, let's put in the eyes for our character, um, let's here use this, but let's make it a bit brighter, and since this is the ideal frame, I'll just set this to the middle. So there's nothing much to it, so let's add in the mouse. Um, okay. Here we go. Use the idle. Okay, this is a bit. Okay, wait, okay. Let's make the mouse a bit, um, dark. Paste that. So you can actually identify the mouse and let's put in white for the seat. Let's get some ash color here. And let's just drop that here. So um, these are idle frames. No, we're done with the idle frames. So let's add in a new frame. That will be our jump um frame. Add a new frame. I'm um, adding the onion. Toggle the onion skin. So this will show um the previous frame. That's the frame above it. Here we go. Sorry, just duplicate this. So we don't actually waste that much time. So duplicate this. And this will be a jump um frame. 
But we can see toggle on the onion skin and get our eraser. So that's a big head size and just erase this. So as you can see, we can still see um the frame um behind this. So let's just add this. Let's create the jump. There we go. Okay. Is it on the upside? Color pick up, pick this color. Um, just paste it here and here. And let's go. Eraser, we don't need this. We don't need this. Use a color pick again. And for here, that's the base of the trouser. Get a color pick up. Um, black. We just fill this in again. Just to make um this smooth. So, so here we go. For the other side, and okay, so let's add in the hand to um signify this with jump animation. So, um, reckon the two and add that here, and add one here. Um, color picker, pick this color, pen to this. Take this here and do the same thing here. And okay, let's change the position of the eyes. Okay. And sorry, you can see the color of the eyes. And is it right here? This edge. And White again. So here we go. We have a jump um sprite. When it's jumping, this will be um okay. Let me add in something some, like a mouse for the mouth open. Here, 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 and color picker, pick this and just place this below this. Here we go. So the mouth opens when it's jumping. So we have a jump sprite. Let's create a walk um frame. Just duplicate your ideal frame. Let's take that to the bottom. Here we go, a ton of onion layer. And so this isn't that much hard. Oh it's not so hard. Let's just get eraser and it is a height of one leg. Use a color picker, black, pen to um, reduce the size, size 1, close that up here, color picker, do the same here, and here. So, so here we go. So this is how our player works. So, um, duplicate this layer. Here we go, open this up. Now we got eraser. Here it is. Erase this. And erase this, this, and now, get this color. Sorry, it's not on the onion layer. Here we go. So let's just have an idea of the previous, um, frame. Here we go. Black. Cover this up. And oh sorry, it's supposed to be here. Eraser. Eraser. And here we go. So this is how our player um will work. Oh wait. Here. Paper here. Turn color picker base and color this and 
There we go. So let's just set this um facing one direction. So the eye flips depending on the direction the player faces. So pick this and the white white color picker. Um, just pick this and face face white and this thing. Here again, white white um color picker. And just place this here. Okay, so um we do it all sprite, I do jump, um walk and work. With a walk and walk sprite. Um so let's export it. Oh yeah, here's the export, so you can choose to export it as a GIF, um a PNG, zip and others. So I will be using zip so split by layers. So on this is split by layers and index by layer name, so I mean, we'll split all layers and here we go, download zip. Here we go, um, sorry. Desktop. Save. Okay, so we have that there now. Um, let's just save this. Save. Save, um, we save our players, try to delete this, delete, and delete this, the uh, idle, so. Let's add in the jump sprite. Here we go. Jump sprite. And add in the walk sprite. Open and apply. Okay, that's really small. Here we go. So, let's preview this. So here we go. So the heat box. Um, if you want to get a really good um clear character, you have to increase the size of your frame. So I just set it by touch too. That's why it looks um blue. It's the pixel size is really small. So um here we go. As you can see. It jumps and it's really nice, so, um, that's how it's done. Thank you.